Hi, my name is Tommy Kelly. Hi Jen, how are Hi, you? Jen, how are you? Good, good morning. It's Thanks only about six, it's six twenty five AM here. <laughs> it's eleven twenty five AM here. I didn't go to bed until one o'clock, so Thanks very much Thanks for very helping much us today. It really means the world it does. world it does. Oh, I am more than proud to do that. Good morning everyone. So like we have a lot to talk like about today. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. We have a lot to talk about today. Yeah, we do. Like I say, I hope we can make as much as money as possible. At the moment, actually, it's, the target is twenty thousand dollars. So hopefully, we can reach that. Oh yeah, we're gonna do awesome. We're a so, big family here. Yeah, we are. That's what we're saying to Tim. He was worrying about coming on and speaking away. Like I say, but everybody supports everybody so much, and we just want to kind of spread the message and help us all these charities as much as we can. Like I say. It's a great, great it's charity, great and, charity uh, and it's got a lot of, obviously, obviously, compassion and respect, respect for everybody, for which everybody means the absolute world to me, and, and a lot like you say, you that's what you can follow about. about. Exactly. That's what I wanted to come, like, for when I come on at 9 to 10, a lot of the conversation is going to be about how veganism represents people, animals, and the planet. And with this charity, we are accomplishing all of that. That's it, yes. That's it, yes. So that's where I'm basing mine on. And mine's just going to be pretty much <laughs> with the flow. Definitely thank you, Jessica. Yes. I appreciate yes. that. <laughs> but yes, you put all the information out there. So thank you very much. I really, really appreciate that. Really it blows my mind that $108 can feed a child for an entire school year. You think a $10 feeds a child for a month? Over here, I've got the $10 by you. A bag of potatoes and maybe some rice. And exactly. It just shows you. Yes, that's another thing I'm going to touch the topic on too. Is instead of going and get that latte and that donut, you know, please donate at least. If even if you can only do five dollars, five dollars can feed a child for what is it? Two weeks. That's what I'm saying. That's and you think of the money we waste in things like maybe buying magazines and things like that. That would feed a whole subscription. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. yeah, I'm skipping the latte, I'm skipping the donut, and I'm donating. <laughs> I'm donating more than that, but just as an example. I would really love to, really love see, to if, we, if we can do this all the time and keep us making as much impact as we, we can. I see, this is I what the this community, community should really be about, and we're all coming together for the greater cause today, and that's, it's great with all the things that the drama's brought up and things that everybody's coming together as one, and... Amazing. Exactly. Amazing. Exactly. We're all in this together, no matter what, you know, lifestyle or diet that we are leading. We're in it together. Obviously, as well, you'll get the kind of, well, the kind of same kind of journey, kind but a different journey, destination. Different You're destination. coming to it, obviously, to, obviously I'm losing a lot of weight. I'm coming to it to gain weight and gain my health. But, and we're both exactly. here for the animals as well, so that's so what we're that's about. Exactly. It looks like you have a lot of people liking. <laughs> really, really appreciate that. I say it, it means the world to me. And I say it, it's, all it's all about helping the charity. It's, it's, it's not about individual people. It's about the greater cause, and that's helping the underprivileged out there that's getting nothing. And we don't realise just how lucky we are. I say every single day we wake up, we've got clothes in our back, we've got food to eat, we've got people who love us, we've got a shelter. How many people don't have that? Exactly. I was thinking about, you know, the dinner that I made yesterday and how fortunate, you know, we are. We take that for granted. Yeah. Not everyone gets yeah. a nice dinner. No, exactly. exactly. You know, and I remember times like when we had a blizzard and that, I took, a, you know, a, a thing of food over to a gentleman, an elderly man, because he's by himself. Well, and I think today I'm going to take leftovers over there for him because I don't think he went anywhere for Thanksgiving. Well, I, well uh, touching uh, upon that, I actually want to share something, with, something you with you that not that long ago I spoke to Jessica about this, but I was walking down the street in Glasgow and 
all these people all were these passing people this were homeless passing man, this and, I man and I heard them saying he had a wee dog sitting next to him and he was covered up in cardboard and things like that. The people were walking past him and I heard them saying, oh, why would I want to give to that junkie, as they called it? And I knew, I knew right away that he wasn't like that. And I got, I went into the shop and I got him some, obviously not vegan stuff, I got him sausage rolls and I got him things and I took them over to him and I started speaking to him. And he actually, he was a handicapped, he actually was, he obviously had an amputation below the knee. And I got to speaking to him and he actually was telling me that he was in the, he was in the army and he stood in a landmine and he lost his leg and what happened was he had to leave the army because of health reasons and things like that and because he left the army he came out and tried to get benefits and things to help him and they didn't give him nothing and because of that he ended up losing his house he was on the street and things like that and people were walking past him and they're saying oh you're a junkie and you're listening that. And this guy gave all for us for his life. And he's the one in the street. And, you know what I mean? Uh, how, how sad is that? Uh, well, God bless you for helping. It just makes you want really, really sad because you think this guy's given every bit of our freedom and he's the one sitting in the street with nothing, you know what I mean? That should not be happening. And the government and the things government are not giving him any benefits because they say, oh, you're fit enough to work, yet he can't work and he loses his house and everything. They should, they should be helping guys like this and give their all for their country. Yes, they should, you know, people should take the time to understand their stories. Yeah. You know, as I sit here in my Marine's room filming this right now. So... So it's been lovely speaking to you. I see Tim's want to come on as well, so I'll yeah. try and guest as many people sure. as I can. Have him on, and I will see you guys all at 9 o'clock, if not before that. Love to Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you Thanks very much for having me get involved. Talk soon. You're welcome. Everybody as well, please go and fan up Jen, I see as well. She's got a great YouTube channel as well. Oh, what's going on? Hi there, how are you? Nice to see you. Same, same thing. Good to see you, man. Exactly. Awesome. Getting, getting the workout on. I just woke up. It's like um, it's six. What time is it right now? Let me check my phone. Sorry. Uh, it's about like what? It's almost seven a.m. here. So it's super early. <laughs> it's eleven. It's just coming up in twelve noon here. So we're about wow. five hours of difference, and we'll be then. Wow, wow, that's that's just amazing. Um, I'm just glad I can help help out. You know, um, whatever I I can do just to help out. See, you've got a great, great message. I always love watching your vlogs and things like that. And the way you right. educate people about obviously taking them out to various restaurants and showing them how there's obviously right. a lot of vegan options and showing people Absolutely. obviously how cheap a vegan diet can be. Because like Absolutely. you've said in your, your channel, a vegan mm -hmm. diet can be as cheap as expensive as you make it. Yep. Absolutely. Um, it, it's not hard. You know, I, I thought it was when I first started. I thought it was going to be something super, you know, expensive and difficult. And it's just it's all it's all lies. You know, it's super, super inexpensive. It's really cheap. Um, the food is nutritious. It's delicious. It's just a win win for everybody, you know. So, yeah, it's awesome. So do you want to kind of tell everybody about your kind of background, how you came to the vegan lifestyle and things like that? um really i got into the vegan lifestyle um for health benefits that's why i got it i mean it, I've, I've gotten so many people telling me it's it's so messed up that i got involved because of me it wasn't more about the animals and i i, I just think it's bullshit you know how whatever got you involved health animals whatever reason it is you're in we're in the same fight so i think that's all that matters you know 100 percent yeah yeah like i always see it being being a lifestyle, doing the vegan lifestyle, you're automatically helping the animals as an activist as anything, because that's saving right. the animals live every single day. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know, man. I'm, I, 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 I just feel like it's, it's, um, that's just like I said, it's how, however you, you got involved with this, you know, health reasons for the animals. I don't care what it was. You're in it. You're in it. Stay with it. You know, it, of course, spread it. Let people know about it. It's super yeah. beneficial to everything and everybody. So I don't see why would you not want to be part of it. It just makes sense to me, you know. 
Definitely. Oh. I, totally, I totally agree with that. That's my basis. Like I say, I came to of it, obviously the vegan lifestyle for both reasons. I came obviously right. for the animals and obviously I came because it's, for me it's really, really helped my eating disorder recovery. It's taken away right. the, vo- the voices and things and knowing mm-hmm. that I'm not listening to that voice and knowing what, what I'm doing is helping something else more external right. really, really helps me. Of course, man. I mean... I mean, there's there's so much to, to to talk about when 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 it comes to this lifestyle. There's like uh, so much to talk about. I can talk for hours about this lifestyle. I feel like it's more than just health. Of course, it's more than it's more than it's more than just the animals. It's really everything. I mean, the planet. It sounds corny when I'm saying this. It sounds so you know cheesy, but it's really everything gets you know gets affected in a great way by going vegan. Everything gets affected you know in a positive way, and I, it just makes me happy that. My, my my lifestyle can benefit a planet. <laughs> you know, like it sounds crazy, but it really can benefit a planet for the right reasons. So it's just awesome. It's perfect. Well, I see, um, I always believe that we are slowly actually killing the world. And that's, that is the truth. And it's only us that can make the difference. And that's what we've got to do. We've got to go to come together and realize that right. it's better for the planet. It's better for the animals. It's better for our health. All that and combined. Right. Yeah, man. Um, I, I'm, I'm just. I mean, like I said, there's so much to talk about. There really is. Um, I don't know, man. It, I'm, I'm just glad I can help. I mean, when you reached out to me just, just like just the other day, I'm like, hell yeah, I'm doing this. You know, like, why would I not want to do this? It's just, it's, it's really amazing. I sound really corny, and like, I'm always like happy about it because it's really an awesome feeling. It makes me happy to know that my stuff can really. You know, help so much. Like seriously, it can really benefit a lot of things. It's, yeah, it's like Jessica says. I I'm like so that. glad to have you involved, just but yeah, we were because I, you were one of the guys I thought of right away. You and Kai, Kai Vegan Embassy, because you have wow. got so great, you have got so great messages, and you've got compassion for everybody. And right. That's, that's Appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. I mean, when when you said that, I was just I was just astounded that you thought about me first. So many involved YouTubers on YouTube. You know these really big channels, and you thought me first. I'm like, whoa! Ah. <laughs> you know, thank, that's, that's awesome. Thank you very much. Like, that's really it's cool. Not, it's not about the individual person. It's a, it's about the greater cause, and that's the uh, the children out there that are suffering at the moment. And Absolutely. Very, very little. Whether right. You've got a big, whether you've got a big channel, you've got a small channel. We've all got a right. voice. We've all got a voice, and we should be heard. And that's what right. It's, I agree. I mean, like I say, it's not just about, it's not all about the animals. And that's, and that's one thing I, I don't like about some vegans. They think it's just all about the animals only, which is, a, it's, it's awesome. But it's, like you said, it's more about, you know, children just helping anyone who needs, who, like who's in need, period. You know, it's just, it's not all about one thing, health, animals. Yeah. It's just a lot of issues going on that needs to be solved. And there needs a lot of, uh, you know, just uh, attention. So it's, it's just an awesome cause, man. This is really cool. Like Joe says, we should all help each other, and yeah, that's exactly what it's about. Absolutely. Kindness costs nothing. That's my, my motto. Absolutely, man. It's more than that. But hey, uh, let me go take a shower. I just woke up. Um, I got a lot of things to do today. Um, I will be on there at 3 p.m. Right? It's, it's 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, 3 p.m. Okay. 3 p.m. Yeah, I'll definitely be joining. In okay. Now. I'll see awesome. You Thanks very much yes. for doing this. I really, really appreciate it. Proud to have you. Absolutely. Back. Awesome. Have a great day. You too, my man. Bye. Bye, Jess. So, another absolutely... Hello. Hi there, how are you? Good, how are you? Jess first. Thanks very much, <laughs> very much for the, everything you've done for this, like I say. Really, really okay. means the world. You know, I was thinking it's been, like, it's only been, what, seven, this is the seventh hour... I think yeah. I've yeah. been on. I've, I've been it's, here all the time. I've been. I've, I've been going to. My eyes are going to be like matchsticks shortly. I know. I know. But it feels so good to go from stream to stream, and someone like Tim's popping in every stream, and you and I yeah. guesting. I thought we've been thinking, we shouldn't just do this for charity. We should be doing this every time someone comes on you now. Like the yeah, amount of people coming that. in and supporting someone like, you know, Sandcat barely, um, she's never broadcasted before and her room had like all these people. Sandcat's it's so nice to see it. It's, yeah, it's so nice to see us all 
supporting each other. Um, yeah. That's what it's taught me. Like, it's taught me like um, like we're all brothers and sisters too. You know, we it's it's yeah, it's been it feels so nice. Like I don't I don't want to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, I said to Michael, I'm taking the phone in bed. If I sleep, I sleep, but I might end up getting up a couple of hours later and saying, screw it. I'm, I'm going to Because I don't I've want to miss well. anybody. Tried to, I've tried to cram everything in, get all the kind of charity. You Marvel, have. Things, all, all the benefits of the vegan lifestyle as well and get everything out. Yeah, you've done it. awesome. Everyone's done so well. Everybody's done absolutely great, yeah. Like I say, we've yeah. all came together and we've put our own effort into it and we're based everything on working on experience and how the benefits and what the children out there are needing. Everything yeah. together. Yeah, it's been... Oh, Jen slept for four hours. Is that it? Jen, oh, I've, well. slept, I've, slept, I've slept for three hours. <laughs> oh, so I've got to sleep for two. <laughs> I've got you to know, beat you all. <laughs> well, I, spoke to, I spoke to you at 12 o'clock last night, if you remember, right? I went to bed and yeah. at one, just before one, and I, I got back up at four, and that's been me since then. That's right. Yeah, you, yeah. actually. I see it felt long for me because I was, like, doing stuff. But, yeah, it wasn't that long at all. Tim won't sleep. Oh, won't you sleep, Tim? Oh, well, then Tim and, uh, Tim and I will have to spend the, spend the night together, Tim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Tim, I'll, I'll have to get my energy. I think I might have a, a Red Bull in the fridge, so I might have to make use of that tonight. A few, a few of the energy drinks, yeah. Red Bull gives you yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tommy woke everyone here at 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> like Christmas morning. <laughs> it's you oh, now, day. <laughs> Santa's been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. There was a really cute part where Fudgy before was annoying, like annoying you, and then he kind of just went like that, and he was behind you, oh, and I'm waiting for him to poke like his head back out again. He just heard you. He's just heard you mention the name Fudgy. He heard me say his name. <laughs> Sorry. How are you, Fudge? <laughs> He's oh, all over you. I know. Like before, when I called you on Facebook, I thought you were taking him for a walk because he was all up. And I was like, are you, are you walking the dog? He's like, no, Fudgy's just all over he's, me. He's pad, pad, padding in the floor like that. Yeah. I know, Tim, we're going to have a slumber party. You, me, Bat Monkey. Um, oh, that is so cute. <gasps> <laughs> that was the cutest. The way he just pokes over your shoulder. That was so cute. There's oh, Jessica Fudge. there. I love you, Fudgy. <laughs> oh, he's so adorable. The way he sleeps, like in your vlog, he looks like a small dog because he kind of really curls into a ball and then he gets up and it's like giant. <laughs> oh, what, that was really Joe, cute. That's what Joe said earlier. He says, Joe says, I think he's going to eat. Yeah, I said, well, he's probably big enough to oh. eat me if he really wanted to. <laughs> if it, exactly. Mummy's boy, do you want Sasha up, Fudge? AJ wants to, I guess, sting. All right, well, I'll let you go so you can put Tim yeah, in and if great. AJ pops in. Thanks very but much. Thank you so time. much for your help and everything. And thank you, Definitely everybody. Like this is so much fun. I'm so happy. If I didn't have something to do, I'd be bouncing off the walls because I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, I'll see you later. You too. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. And remember, everybody, remember to fan up Jess and the Yep, well, it looks like um, we are let's go again with you. Yeah, I was about to say, tell me if there's anyone else in there. I mean, I don't want to guess. So it's been great to have you on, mate. I really, really appreciate it today. Like I see you've, you've done absolutely great. And XYZ4 Animal Girl says she's became a fan as well. I've got another about five minutes left, so I'll just kind of... But, uh, yeah, congratulations, Tommy, getting back up for your in-law likes. Oh, and it's, now, uh, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not about, 
it's not about the likes for me, mate. Like, the most important thing is the charity today. That's really what matters, and that's what we're here for. It raised so much money for all the kids out there that have got nothing. And like I say, ten dollars. Anybody, if anybody can link the 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 GoFundMe page on the on here the, the just now, that'd be great. Before I go. Okay. Yes, with a ring. <laughs> oh, I love you, Jess. Jess, you're giving a your hug. So, just before I go, Tim, I'll give you a big hug, mate. And thanks very much for everything. Mm. I'll speak out the hug. You as well, mate. Batman hugs for you are bat monkey hugs. I'll speak to you very, very soon, mate. Hey, wait, uh, before we go. Yeah? Who has the stronger accent, uh, me or Tommy? Oh, I think it's got to be me, mate, definitely. If people can understand me, <laughs> they've got an international dialect, I think. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, we almost have the same accent, it sounds like. Yeah, I yeah. think but come on, uh, let's do uh, a little uh, vote in the chat. Press one if Tommy has the uh, stronger accent. Press two if it's me. So one or two guys. Two. Mm. Looks as if it's a draw. Yeah. I don't know, it looks like you're winning. Yeah. All right. Yeah, Gally, well, I call it. Tommy has more of an accent. Right. Lovely to speak to you, mate. I'll, I'll log off now and finish off the chat here. I've only got two minutes left, so I'll speak to you very, very soon. And thanks very yeah, much for well, all you your song. Thanks a lot. Yeah, mate. but Tommy, I love you, buddy. I love you and too. And we will uh, love definitely it. see love you again. Love everybody in the chat as well. I see we've all came together for the greater cause today, like I say, and that's what it's all about. Sending you my love and speak to you soon, Tim. One last thing, yeah, I got to uh, close me out. Yeah. Since my mouse died out again. Yeah, so I can't uh, leave. Yeah, you're going to have to drop me. Right, speak to you soon, Tim. Love mm. to you, mate. For you and for me and the anti-human race, there are people dying. If you care enough for the living, make a better place for you and for me. So, guys, thanks. For How are you, my friend? How's things? All good. Yeah, fantastic, fantastic. How are you? Yeah, doing great, thanks. Just kind of get, kind of resting after my <laughs> one hour. I've been up all night trying to kind of catch up and everybody stream as much as I possibly can. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I'm, I'm glad to see you here, man. Thank you so much again for speaking so, so highly of me and saying such kind things. Um, oh, if, pleasure's if, all mine. Like to hear, no worries. If, if I, if you don't mind, I'd like to take just a couple of minutes just to fill people in about Alexia because I know you did mention her yeah. um, she is a she at the time she was two and a half years of age and she was diagnosed with the uh, DIPG which is a very aggressive brain uh, tumor um, and she tried all the treatments she could in Australia and they they ran out of options um, and yeah over two years she battled that so she's about four and a half at the moment and she had to go to Germany to try hypothermia therapy and it was going to cost the family up to $150,000 from the treatment to the flights, accommodations and so on. Um, so I did try to help get awareness to, to her GoFundMe page and we did raise money and they did go to Germany. Um, they did get lucky while they're in Germany. I think a, uh, I wasn't sure whether it's a, a newspaper team or a, or a magazine mm -hmm. place. Anyway, they, they, it was so inspiring to them. They, they decided to pay them um, the treatment cost. But unfortunately, even after doing the treatment there, her tumor is still getting bigger. Um, so now they've just ran out of another option. Um, so it is a horrible thing. I mean, I, I haven't said this before online. This is the first time I'm updating people on what's happening. Um, 
so she she there is another type of treatment all of these are experimental treatments so nothing's guaranteed but i mean you know if you were in the family's position you would try anything to, to 100%. help yeah so now they're going to go to England um, where they're saying they have another type of treatment they can try for her. But, but again, they need to raise money because during the time that she's been sick, they haven't really been able to really work and, and, and do much because you're just yeah. going from one to another and, uh, and just the stress and the pressure they must be under would be absolutely horrendous. Um, so yeah, not great news, but they're still raising money. Uh, I've got a video of her on my channel over at Vegan Embassy on YouTube. So if anybody wants to check her out, just to help her, or just to read her story. I've, I've got a video on my channel as well about yep. it as well. So. so thank you. And if anybody wants to look up further about it, just go to uh, Facebook and look up um, Alexia's journey. So I'll just write that for everyone now if anyone wants to go see it. But yep. uh, it's it's a sad sad thing but she's such a beautiful girl such a tough soul and she's really really been battling and fighting so well um i just i just wish that you know, she does get through it and, and hopefully live a long and healthy life but yeah the doctors haven't really given her much hope they've always they, they've pretty much said to them many times over that there's not much time left for her and there's nothing that they can really do so um I am sorry that I haven't been able to keep up with everyone's comments. I'm just, yeah, this, then whenever I tell this story, I, I'm, I'm a little bit in my own world. Cause it well, does, if I, I, like I say, if I can help in any way at all, don't hesitate to ask. I'd love to be able to help and I'll do everything I possibly can. Actually, my, my friend's wee boy uh, he's, that I'm friendly with for school, his wee boy actually died not that long ago. Corey, he had the very same thing. He went for the hyperthermia treatment and by that time it yeah. was... They said it was just basically a hit and miss. It, if it would work, or it didn't. But the whole the whole community round about actually helped to kind of donate for him as much as they possibly could, and they got the money and the flights and obviously accommodation for his mum and dad to stay over there. The very same thing as you've set up, but sadly he passed away, and it's it's really really sad. It really is because you see so, so many kids young 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 ages now. It's they always used to say that cancer was a kind of older person's illness but now you see it even at wee babies and things like that is no i oh, know that that was the thing that really you know upsets and, and hurts me most is when it, it's a devastating thing but it's the worst when you see it in such a young person especially someone who's just a baby like they haven't lived they haven't experienced anything in life they haven't been given a chance it's it's devastating i think and that's why i'm so passionate about um you know, trying to get people on the healthiest lifestyle as possible, just to fucking try to give them the best fighting chance. I mean, nothing ever guarantees you, uh, you know, a cure or anything, but just, just to try to help people as much as as we can. But yeah, it it, it is something that's very hard to talk about. I will make a video on YouTube very soon to uh, to cover that story. But you've you've always been so supportive, and and I know it's something that probably affects you deeply because you've you've sort of experienced it, you know, yeah. firsthand, and very sad, but. Um, thank Actually, you. It, oh. I've had I've had an awful lot of problems online because people getting on at me saying that I shouldn't be letting my wife have uh, chemotherapy and radiotherapy be, be, with me being vegan and things like that. I mean, how sickening can you get? They don't seem to understand that there's a borderline when it comes to your your life. I know that certain treatments like that obviously are tested in animals, and I don't agree with things being tested in animals. Yeah. But, but sometimes these kind of things have got to be you know, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, I know exactly where you're coming from, and it's 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 things like that that uh, I mean, I, I personally I don't like chemotherapy because it's such a harsh drug on the body and what it can do to you and how much effects it can have in itself, and mm -hmm. the fact that it up so much before I had to go in depth about it that it's it's not such a successful treatment, but uh, no, to me, I know, I know I, that only too well myself, unfortunately, because I watched my mum yeah. go through it treatment, yeah. radiotherapy, chemotherapy. She couldn't keep any food down or anything. She was sick. She was in her bed for days and days and days. And I actually, to me, I actually destroyed her as much as the cancer did. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I've, uh, I've, I've been very close to, uh, to cancer before with people. So I sort of have seen it firsthand and how devastating it can be. And yeah, the cancer is bad, but the chemotherapy is destructive. Like what it does to people is just, it's horrible. Sometimes it's worse watching them go through the treatment than the illness itself. So it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very hard, 
I mean, a very hard subject. That video was was the hardest video I've ever had to make. I I think I did maybe sixty retakes because I just couldn't I get the words. Out. Couldn't put it together. I was, the same. I was trying to kind of hold myself together in that because it just cuts you up even mentioning it, and especially when you see her jumping about and the, the little bit about hero and things and the, the kind of yes. the life in her. She 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 was exuding life even though everything that she was going through. You know what I mean? And that's that just shows you if she can do that, what's the excuse for us? <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And, you know, at the end of the day, like, I try to understand that I am very privileged and, you know, living in such a nice country and having my health and, and I just try not to be uh, just so uh, not not selfish, but I guess just be too privileged and just take everything for granted because at any moment, you know, can be taken away. And if you lose your health, you lose everything. So it's, it's yeah, it's a difficult thing. But Thank you again, and I, I don't want to take away from this organisation by talking about um, other stories. But yeah, I just I, I really didn't that's, need to. That's something we should all we should all be getting helping for definitely. That's that was one thing I wanted to touch upon as well because, like I say, that's another thing that we should be doing. But it's not just about compassion for the animals; it's compassion for your fellow human, and that's a big part of it. And if we can all help it's... with this this wee girl as well, it's that'd be amazing. I would love to see if we could all band together and just, you know, once once a month just find another person who's in really desperate need or a family and yeah. just all of us help because, you know, $5, to $10 to us to donate or, or whatever we can afford is not a big amount. But to that family, if you're talking hundreds, of, you know, people doing it, it's a big help to them, you know, and it can really help relieve the pressure of, of financial burdens off them. But... Yeah, it's it's definitely something I'd, I'd love to see more of. And I was disappointed when I did go with that video online. It took a long time before people started supporting me and a lot of the big channels ignored it. I knew they saw it and I, I reached out to many, but they just didn't want anything to do with it because to them it's all about their uh, attention and their yeah. crowd rather than the real cause. And it was a very big wake-up call to me about how how far disconnected people are and how much they don't want to help. And you know, that's why when I saw people like yourself and others step up, it really did mean the world to me. Like it, it touched me deeply. I thought this is, this is powerful to see people actually truly care. So thank you again. I honestly do appreciate it. But that's Jen saying as well, we'll do, we'll do a 24 hour stream for her. Twisted Hippie says humans are animals too. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll, de we'll yeah, definitely exactly. do that. Let's like say that would be amazing to do a 24-hour stream for her because I think we would really we'd raise a lot more that way yeah. than doing it any yeah. other way, in my opinion. Of course, of course. I think that would be a lovely idea. And, I mean, I did have, as sad as this is, I did have some people troll my video and say some really hurtful comments about them because I thought that's that's beyond in anything that I can comprehend. I can't understand how someone could do that. But... I had people asking me if she was vegan and why do you even care? And I said, at the end of the day, <laughs> that like that doesn't that has nothing no. to do with this. this is a four-year-old little angel that we need to try to save, and I'll do anything that I can to do so. So, Jessica yeah, said yeah, we'll, we'll do a stream as well. I see, yeah, Jessica, we'll definitely look into this, and we can we can all kind of chat on Facebook together about this. Obviously, me, yourself, yeah. Kai, and things, and try and get. A, can I go in and see where we go from here and when we can get us set yeah. up? Thank you. Yeah, that would be wonderful. That would be wonderful. Well, I will uh, let you go for now, Tommy, because I do want to bring another person on and then sign off because I'm almost finished. Thanks thank very you so much, much for helping in this great charity today. And I, lovely to speak I to you. I do jump on board with this uh, Food for Life program and just try to donate whatever you can. It'll be honestly uh, just amazing. Yeah, so say thank you. $10, dollars, whatever. <laughs> That's it, exactly. Thanks, exactly. thanks a lot, mate, and speak to you soon. Right, back at you. Take care. Thank you so much, Jessica, by the way. What's up, Turbo? I'm doing great, mate. Thanks very much for getting involved with us. Proud to have you on board. Like I, say. I always love you. I can motivate a message. You've got a great, great message. And just listen to all your stories. They're absolutely brilliant. Thanks, man. I just I just want to do whatever I can to, you know, make sure we get money, get money in there, man. That's what it's all about. That's exactly it. That's it. We're thankful. We're, we'd be thankful that Joe Vegan said yes on his channel. We should be thankful for the things we've got in life. He says people all over the world are starving and get homeless and things like that. And the things we take for granted, such as running water and 
things these children are donating for today. They've not got that available, and that's what we should all be coming here for. Yeah, I guess I hear him fine there saying that you sound like you're breaking up. Um, you know, you know, uh, vegans, a lot of some vegans they'll show they'll show like the torture, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they'll show yeah. what happens to a pig or to a cow. Maybe some of these people need to look at somebody starving. Like, I, you, you, you say the word so much, it, it becomes like it loses its, its effect. You're a little bit hungry. What do you say? I'm starving. I'm starving. Exactly. Maybe you need to see what real starvation look like. If, if you just you can't give five dollars, ten dollars, you know, we're not asking for a lot. Just whatever you can give. That'll work. It's like, it's like I said earlier, when you think about it, you waste maybe five dollars in a comic book or a magazine and things like that. Look at what you could be doing with that and helping a child that's got absolutely nothing. Yeah, I'll lose it. Yeah. Yeah, so um, I, I think it's doing I think it's doing good right now. Um. I'm going to actually, like, even leave the vegan part and, like, share it on my other uh, pages, like Facebook and everything. You just get everybody yeah. involved, talk to family I know. Um, just anything I can to help spread it. Seeing children starve on charity averts kills me every time. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. It says people never, who have never felt true hunger don't understand how terrifying it spews, especially for children. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's what I was trying. I hope, it, I hope it came across the right way. Like it, my most hungriest light day ever. It was nothing, nothing compared, nothing at all compared to what they go through. With the, the thing that I really like about them as well, not only are they actually feeding the children and that, but they're obviously educating about them about good nutrition and that as well, which makes a lot, a lot of difference. And the way they've got that kind of religious message, but not discriminating against any religious religion and. It's all about respecting every race, every sexuality, religion, everything. It all comes together. Sounds good. Michael said he's going to donate. Good. Thanks, Michael. We appreciate that, man. Carla Russo. I'm scared to say that last name. <laughs> I don't, don't want to butcher his last name. But yeah, man, it's, it's, it's been good watching everybody and, you know, Learn from each person, you know. Um, what what made me take down the notes and say the topics I wanted to say? I want to give a shout out to uh, Wavy Cave Studio and Mal Garzada. A shout out to Wavy Cave Studio to remind me. He reminded me to put my passion back into my message. He's so full of passion, and Mal Garzada is so great, full of great, facts. Great guy. I was I was really really loved it when you recommended him and i went over and checked out his channel he's a great guy yeah yeah he, he's 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 a, he's a really really good guy a lot, a lot of good people a lot of people uh coming together for a good cause and um hopefully you know we can continue to do this and and people can hear about it from this time and, and get bigger names and get bigger people to come out here to get bigger donations i've never been Proud, say I want money. I want money. I want your money to donate. I want money. <laughs> money exactly. is the answer. <laughs> it's, not, it's not about the, the 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 likes and things like that today. The most important thing is the, the, the donations. That's what it's all about, it's, and that's what we've all come on here to do. And... Yeah, wavy cave, awesome. All right. Well, you know, next up we have this time around vegan. And this is another name I never heard of. I'm interested to see the people I've never heard of. And um, Jen's Jen's amazing. Yes, and hopefully that you know we keep it rocking, we keep it moving. So thank you all for uh, showing love, showing support. You guys got the link. One more time. We need we need a pretty good old rock here surely to finish this off. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Somebody was like, y'all should be happy that this happened because this is the only time. You get me to stream in one hour. <laughs> That's true, yeah. All right, well, thank you for coming on, Tommy. Appreciate that. Thanks very much, John, and thanks for all your great work and sending you, you and the wife all my love and oh, the, thank you, the new baby as well. Speak soon. All right, anytime. Appreciate that. All right, thank you guys for uh, checking me out again. I'm not... I don't get to guess you, but Tommy hasn't guessed it with me yet. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> I'm, 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 lying, I'm lying in my bed here, I'm absolutely shattered. 
I know, I should put a lullaby on and we can just watch Tommy sleep. <laughs> well, we, we, yeah. There's been a lot of troopers throughout this that have like barely slept. It's, it really yeah. It really has, like I say. Joey was absolutely amazing. I'm yeah, Joey's like, awesome. I'm, so, I'm gl glad I got him involved. He's, he's a great, great guy. He's, like I say, a lot of people kind of get off put by him because he's messaging things, but he's, he's getting mm. passion. That's what it's about. He, he's, a lot of people mistake it for being militant and things like that. And he's not like that at yeah. all. Yeah, there's something about him like, I watching him always made me feel happy the way he talks like he's just so enthusiastic um I was, I was like like I know there's so many awesome people but there was something about Joey I was like I can't wait till he gets on because I knew he's gonna like pump everyone up and bring new energy into the the broadcast especially because it's so late late on in, in the marathon so I see it's been yeah, absolutely he's great. awesome we've all we've all came together for the, the greater cause today and that's what it's all about I see Children exactly. all over the world starving and things like that, and we don't realise just how lucky we are. Like I say, we've got we've got running water in the, the tap, we've got food and things, and that's just what yeah. it's all about. And it's great to see everybody with all different kind of platforms. We've all got a voice, and we've all came together. Yeah. And we should keep we yeah. should keep doing this definitely. Yeah, yeah, I think we should. Um, we should definitely keep like just because the fundraiser or the marathon, I should say, ends at midnight. You know, ends in a few hours. It, we're, what we've done together as a community and coming together, we need to keep doing that. Yeah. Regardless of if it's for a charity uh, or for promotion, whatever the reason was you did this, you've, you've come here and you've seen how awesome it is. Let's keep doing it. So when someone small, you know, when Frankie goes online one day, just in the, you know, just to chill out, we should be going in there and, and pushing and supporting, you know, and then when someone like Joe Vegan comes on, um, that positivity, keep it going. Uh, it's like Food Yogi said earlier on, he says, we're all, we're all one being, he says, there's nobody yeah. any better than each other and we should all be coming together and looking past colour, sexuality, that's right. spirituality, everybody's equal and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Yeah, like numbers don't matter, numbers of subscribers, numbers on the scale, numbers of no. like your age, your wealth, none of that really at the end of the day uh some of us are more fortunate in one aspect or another but we are all the same we are all equal you're my brother you're my sister and when you look at it like that um it changes your whole perspective of how you see people Frankie i think saying that i kind of wish you'd all subscribe to my youtube channel yeah please go and subscribe to frankie she's my dear dear friend she's absolutely amazing she, person Please, everybody, go and subscribe to her, definitely. She's got an amazing story of, um, you yeah. know, survival and, and, and being such a strong person. She said I inspired her, but watching her inspires me too, um, as with a yeah, lot of people. That's it's because I go through this, yeah, we go through the struggle, and it's sometimes you do. Everyone has those moments where you feel like crap, but then you think to yourself, but Tommy and Frankie and Shani and... And you know, Kate and all these people—they're—they're they're doing this too. And if I fail, I'm not like—not that you fail, but if I falter a little bit, um, I just want to keep up with them, and that's what keeps me going too. Because I'm like, I want to keep up with Tommy. I want to keep doing this with Tommy. I want to keep doing this with Frankie. Um, Motivation to keep going. And yeah, yeah. Frankie always and says, "I was the reason me and Shani were the reason why she started a YouTube channel." And that. Yeah, I remember. I remember. The world to me, like I say, she loves everybody. Yeah. And she she supports everybody, and even in her worst days, when she's going through a bad time, she's there for everybody else. And I know, like, look at her today in bed recovering, exactly. and she's still here asking questions. Like, I love you so much, Frankie. She made me always cry before because she was all getting all like, you know, really nice things. And I was like, Frankie, don't do this to me. <laughs> um, For Jogi saying there, yes, we're all, de all des designations applied only to the body, which we are not. We're all the driver of the body, exactly. But the body is a temple and that God has given that is it for this reason and he's given it. We're, we're basically a soul in this body and we have to look after it until we, we reach the next path in life, which is the afterlife. And... That's yeah. Sandcat said, you and I are the reason she started her channel. Do you remember oh, yeah. Sweet Potato? Because I remember we did a collab and she's like, I found you from Tommy. 
Right, and I was yeah. like, oh, sweet potato. And then she uploaded her first video and she was sand cat. And I was like, oh, I love that cat. I love that cat. <laughs> But yeah, it's so I would cute. Definitely, I would definitely love to do things that obviously spread in the charity and my church and things like that because that's kind of one thing that they, they kind of look at. Yeah, I remember my, my minister yep. actually saying to me like a few weeks ago, and I told you this about saying that basically you should be you should be vegan, obviously, if you're a believer of God because you believe in non harming things. And then she turned mm. around and says, Oh, but that doesn't mean that, that, that I don't like my steak pie in church. So I thought, Well, that's. <laughs> That's a bit of a contradiction. Your minister saying yeah. that yeah, she she does not condone it. Yeah, well, I mean, initially I could say I didn't stop eating meat because it wasn't nice, and I'm not going to lie, it it was tasty. So it was cheese. So it was milk. My taste buds have now changed. I don't feel the same way. But that's not the reason why people stop. We stop for you know for health or, or for ethical reasons. So, of course, food, food's tasty. Of course, people, not that I like bacon, but people seem to love bacon. Um, it's like, of course, but, but is the taste more important than the, than the life? Exactly. You know, that's, yeah. And, and like I said, your taste buds change. I think if I ate chicken now, I almost wanted to test it the other day because I thought I would have spat it out, but then I was like, no, nah, I don't want to make myself sick, um, you know, because it was there, Michael was eating it. But yeah, I didn't even want it. I didn't even want to know what it tasted like. Because like, I thought I'm gonna, I'm gonna be sick either either through this way or through that way, like through the back. Exactly. <laughs> like, it's what mm. like, like I always say. Coming to the vegan lifestyle for, for health reasons doesn't make you any less an activist than anybody else because you, you're saving the animals no. just by doing that. And that's one thing I well, don't. Yeah, yeah, we're all doing something. Yeah. Even if yeah. you inspire one person, you're still an activist for, for that one person because. It makes a difference. Every little we're, week, we're, we're, um, even whether it's one meal a week or a few, like, a meal yeah, a day, yeah. go a bit less vegan, a bit less mm. meat, sorry. Yeah, Jesus exactly. Says, the Bible says we're stewards of the animals. Yeah, like I say in the, the book of Daniel and things, it all teaches you about living off plants and the, the trees. And yeah, things. I remember that. Basically, only eat meat when you're in extreme famine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I remember you reading that. Um, so I'll so we're out, I think we're on, uh, yeah, I'll see when, uh, if Birdie's ready. Yes, he is. Lovely speaking to you too, Tommy. Bye. Love to you, Jessica. You too, love to you. Okay, big screen bird is Getting involved you with Stephen. Happy birthday, by the way, mate. Ah, oh, thanks, buddy. Thank you. I'm not, this is probably the highlight of the day for my birthday. This is my party. Definitely. I've got 58 was, people at my It was lovely to get you involved. Like I say, you're a big, big inspiration of mine, and I love the, the activism you're doing, things like that. And as I say, it's, it's, it's all about even the kind of smaller YouTubers and the, the bigger YouTubers. We've all came together. We've all got one voice today, and we've all came together for the greater cause, which is obviously children out there that have got very, very little. And I like see we take things for granted, like running water and we're tap, we're food and things like that. For as little as ten dollars a month can obviously feed a child for a whole month and it's amazing. And so thanks very much for getting involved. It really, really means the world. Yeah. That no worries. I'm I'm down for the good cause. I want, we want to spread the love. I'll post a link here in the comment section and, and they're feeding vegan food to hungry children, which is amazing. And and like I, I guess when they receive the meal and realise that that's vegan, that, that spreads a good message too, that you know. You can eat beautiful things like rice and beans. I'm guessing they feed stuff like rice and beans, which are very cheap per calorie and yeah. very good, uh, very good and cheap source of calories. That's what people say. Like a vegan diet is expensive. That's ridiculous. Some of the cheapest foods on the planet are vegan and the best for you and best for your health. So that's it's awesome. It's like I always say: a vegan diet is as is cheap or as expensive as you make it. It depends where you shop around and yeah. things like your your staples, like your beans, your seeds, your rice, legumes, everything. They're all staples and they're very, very cheap. And the lesson here is we can feed the world with these things. We can feed the starving children in Africa and everywhere all around the world with these with these starches. We've got to stop feeding the grains to 60 billion land animals and, and sort of slowly abolish this um, meat and dairy industry. I mean, that's the problem. That's why people are starving. I mean, there's other problems than that. But that's one of the main reasons. That's where all the grain is going. So the great, the great, really the great thing... 
The great thing about my charity as well, obviously, is not only they're actually feeding them plant-based meals, but they're educating them on nutrition and that as well, which is a great, great thing as well. So, Wow, that's, that's priceless, that. Um, education will change the world too. I mean, that's why education-based activism is the best form of activism, teaching people why it's good to eat plants and not good to eat animal products is very important for people's health exactly. and the environment and the animals. So what's your channel called, mate? It's Tofu Tommy. Tofu Tommy? Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, that's awesome, man. No, everyone subscribe to Tofu Tommy and check out his channel. All right, to Tommy, I'm going to have to drop you out and I'm going to invite Jessica on the Brilliant, chat. Mate. Thanks, thanks very time, much. Bro. And I'm sending you all my support as always. Speak to you soon. No worries, brother. Peace, man. Peace. Okay, so we dropped Tommy out and he was a bit of a legend, wasn't he? That was cool. All right, now we'll chuck on, wait, we'll chuck Jessica on and then we'll go through some, let's go through some comments here. Another FB friend donated. He's saying that. I do that all the time. I love his scuba videos. Tommy. I just want to say that <laughs> I think I love you so much and uh, your story and that there touched me. And, I just want everybody in the chat to know how much you do for me. You mean, you mean the world to me. You really, really do. Thank thanks you. You do thanks, too. Thanks for being you and don't ever think you're, you're no beautiful. You're beautiful inside and out and I'm blessed to call you my friend. <laughs> Thank you. I feel exactly the same. We, we're all sobby, but yeah, meeting you changed my life. I, I have no friends in real life, so my friendship with you means um you as well and just just thanks for the more than that yeah thank you i'm using my jumper as a... i'm the same <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> oh. i'd just like to thank everybody that's come on and helped the board we've, we've all been a team today it's not just any a couple of us yeah. it's everybody and that's that's what it's all about. Yeah, even the people that didn't broadcast that have been in here, like, you know, Sarah and, like, Jude and um, Juice has been in here the whole time. I know he broadcasts. Love, and so people. many of you that have just, like, followed us through, like, without you, um, you kept us pumped up the whole time. And now, to pay you back, we make you cry. <laughs> but... <Yeah. laughs> I'm an I'm always an emotional mess, but because <laughs> it's very overwhelming what happened today. I, I never, um, I had the thought, you know, and we we all work together, but I never uh, imagined it would be this this positive. I always had that doubt, and you know, when I had the idea, you can I don't know if you were in the chat, but I asked a few people in the Facebook uh, on Facebook, I asked Jude and Controvertible Snitch John and. I said, Michael doesn't think it'll work. Michael thinks that there's too much negativity and it won't work. And um, Jude said, oh, I'll get people on it, you know, for 24 hours. And it just started to grow. And I never thought that it would be like this. Um, I, I really did. And that's why I'm so emotional because there's so much um, so Oh, thanks so very much, much the Vegan. Love to you. And as Jude says, it's been a beautiful journey yeah. I've learned. I think it we've has. all learned so much today, but honest, even people that's come on that's yeah. not vegan like Frankie, she's picked up a lot of stuff and yeah. hearing the can, things yeah. for James yeah. Aspie and things and obviously Joey Carbstrong, the, the kind of motivation they gave about life and everything and the messages. Mm. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, James made me cry with the story of um, Rupert. Yeah, great, oh, great guy. I could picture it, yeah. I, I know, I really wanted to guest with him too, but... Um, yeah, he's so he's so nice that he didn't want to go over his time, and I'm like, I no, know. go over your time, please. <laughs> so I'll I'll jump off and let Sandcat and that go, and I just want okay. to come on and share my love Thank to you, you and Tommy. everybody else. And I love you so much. Thank you. I love you too. Love you, Turbo Tommy from Danny. <laughs> <laughs> your guys. See ya. Uh, bye. Uh, Remember guys, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.